Welcome back guys, we are continuing on with these Mechabellum 1v1 replays and we have some more hacker fun to play with. So I am the red team again this time, so I will have the red health bars. Uh, I'm playing against a really high ranking player, he's a sound person, I type it with him quite a lot and we always have a little bit of fun when we're playing. I did warn him beforehand that I was hacker memeing. And I believe this is the first time that I've used the hacker strat against this player. So it'll be interesting to see how a really high level player deals with such a outlandish strategy. So I noticed that he's gone for Rhino Specialist and I didn't want to show my hand too early so I go for a rather strange approach and I don't build anything for the first two rounds because I don't want him to know that I'm going for hackers until he's actually deployed his Rhino so the first two rounds are gonna be a bit of a walkover But we're not going to lose too much in the way of hit points. So there's a couple of items here that are fairly decent. And obviously if you're going for mass produced stuff, that can work out well if you sell it. So you can bait the opponent into putting defences up that they wouldn't normally put up. And then sell the item. Or the unit. So he's gone for charged ammo, which can be quite an annoying thing to play against. But I don't believe charged ammo actually does anything if you shield it up. So hacker shields will mitigate this item. So once again, I did not buy anything and he messaged me and said, what on earth is going on? <laughs> what are you playing at? But he obviously knew that I was going for something. And I did not want to show my hand until he put his rhino down. So there's an item here, photon coating, that can work quite well with the rhino if you don't want to invest into the tech. It only costs 50. I decide to skip. So I've got 1250 supply to play with now. So that is plenty of supply to unlock and recruit two. Oh, I'm elite specialist, by the way. So we're recruiting two hackers and putting the range on them. So we've got 250 supply left over, but it's not really enough to deploy anything that I actually want to deploy. So I believe I just save this 250 for the following round. So obviously it's rather a strange strategy to be saving so much supply in the first three rounds. But this is the hacker fun. And he's left his rhino nice and exposed. Hopefully the hackers will lock onto it. One of them did. The other one didn't, unfortunately. But the other one's doing a good job at stealing sledges. And this one just about managed to hack the rhino before he died. So he got his job done. Stole the rhino. Now, it's not going to win us the round. But we're now in a nice position to be able to put shields on the hacker. And obviously, because we're elite specialist, we'll be bringing level 2 units in. And because I haven't deployed any units, really, in the first three rounds, he hasn't really gained much experience from them rounds. So, I will be out-leveling him quite significantly. He's only gained experience a level up on one of his units. So... 
We're bringing in two more hackers. We're putting the shields on. So luckily, because I saved that 250, it enabled me to actually put the shields on. He's trying to burn me out with an incendiary bomb, which is going to kill these crawlers. These ones might just escape. Yep, they did. Very nice. But the flame did not get in front of the hackers, which is good. So the hackers aren't burning alive. So these crawlers are just about making it into me, but not quite far enough to actually kill me. And we have managed to stabilize and potentially even win this round doing a great job at stealing his units. We've taken out the tower and we've dealt with the snipers. Happy days. We even stole that sniper. So we're now in a fantastic position. So let's see what he does to counter this hacker build. Like I say, this player is a very high ranking player so you would expect him to know what he's doing to some degree even though he's never fought this type of build before and he's going for the correct counter which is the storm callers so I'm bringing in a couple of mustangs to help chaff clear leveled up a phoenix. He's using his ion blast which is going to hurt. Is it going to take the phoenixes out? Yes it is. Is it going to take the hackers out? It took one of them out but one of them managed to get out of the blast zone. So we've still got a hacker and some mustangs on this side. But he is about to fall any moment now. We're doing quite well on the left hand side, even though we're facing storm callers. But we lose that round. So now we have to think of a way how to manage these storm callers. Now there's two options. One is go for the anti-missile tech on the Mustangs. The other option is to just distract them with crawlers. So I believe I don't even have... Oh no, I have got the anti-missile upgrade. So I could go for that if I wanted, but the Mustangs are a large portion of my damage dealing. So I don't want them out of the fight, just shooting at missiles all the time. So I decide to go for the crawler distraction approach. So we're bringing in crawlers, going to put them in a position where the storm callers are going to aim at them. Now I don't know he's brought in another three storm callers at this point. So I'm not going to be able to distract all of the storm callers. So I just focus on the ones in the middle. Put the missile over here. He's gone for a defensive wasp. So that'll deal with some of the storm callers. Unless he shields up, of course. So let's see what happens. Most of his storm callers are shooting at the crawlers in the middle. So that's good news for me. The hackers are getting the job done. I've got multi-beam on. So I'm able to hack multiple targets at once. We've 
got a nice little flank going with the Mustangs. Stealing units, making the Stormcallers shoot their own units. And we've taken down the towers. So that went really well. So let's see what happens in this next round. So he's gone for the obvious, which is the electromagnetic blast to deal with my shields. Let's see what I decide to go for. So I decide to go for Strike Specialist. I want to try and distract these Stormcallers. And I don't particularly want to put units over here in case he puts Flame Shot, which he has done. So if I'd have put a unit here to distract these, I would have just been putting flames in front of my units. So I decide to go for Strike Specialist and go for a flank instead. So I've got the Phoenix in front of the Hacker. So that will protect the Hacker from a missile. It will buy him time to actually stay alive as well. And then I'm bringing in a crawler here so these storm crawlers don't target the hacker. They're going to target the crawlers instead. So it's an expensive flank, but it might work. Might work. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Just leveling up some hackers. We've got a little bit of cash left over. So I decide to put range on the Mustangs. So let's see how this flank goes. So the flank did really well buying time for the hacker. The hacker's doing really well at stealing all their units and distracting the Stormcallers. Which has bought time for these Mustangs to get in range and snipe a few of their storm callers. We're getting close to taking out a tower. And it looks like we've managed to win the round. So although the flank failed, it did its job and distracted the storm callers, which let the front win. So I think what we're probably going to do is repeat the same process, but on the right flank. So I've gone for portable shield and I've put it on the hacker just to keep him alive that little bit longer. He's gone for the heavy armor and I believe we are getting ready to set up another strike over here. He's going for his own hackers. <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. So it'll be interesting to see how his hacker fares. He's gone for level 2 as well. So he's going for an all out flame assault on us with incendiary bomb and sticky oil bomb. So this is going to burn out virtually my entire army. The only thing that's going to be left standing are the hackers themselves and obviously the phoenix. I've got quantum reassembly on the phoenix now. So hopefully these ones that will die over here are going to reassemble at the back. Hacker's doing a fantastic job. We are burning alive over here. But level 3 hackers have a significant amount of health. Enough to survive walking through a flame barrage. And obviously their shields are still intact. 
the quantum reassembly is bringing back the phoenixes. So his massive flame assault has failed because we've still got our hackers and our phoenixes still alive. And we're about to hack his hacker, but unfortunately, phoenixes decided to snipe him. And there we go. We got a victory against a high ranking player using a hacker build. So, it was a bit different to the norm because we, we decided to go for a deep strike, which worked out really, really well. And it was a fun battle. We managed to avoid the storm callers, which is one of the hardest things to do when using hackers. So yeah, fun battle. Very fun battle. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers for watching. Join me again in the next one, where we might use more hackers. We might use a conventional build. Cheers for watching. Take care. I shall see you soon.